This is Aaron True. I'm here with Jake Shields, 170 pound MMA fighter. Jake, you're actually moving up to 185 pound weight class to take on Robbie Lawler, June 6th. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the fight coming up. Um, you know, fighting Robbie Lawler. I said moving up a weight, so I'm super excited for it. I think Robbie Lawler is, uh, you know, someone I've been watching fight for years, so it's a fight, a fight that gets me very excited. I can't wait. Are you expecting any difficulties moving up in weight? Um, you've dominated the 170 pound division for about five and a half years now. Um, do you expect any difficulties moving up uh, in terms of his size and strength? Um, you know, he's going to be stronger and stuff, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, I don't think weight's going to be the deciding factor. I think uh, I've been working out with, with you know, some, some larger people, and I don't think Lawler's a huge 85-pounder, uh, so obviously it'll be a small factor, but I don't think it's going to, you know, determine the winner of the fight. For years now, you've been saying you want to fight the top competition. You yourself, you've earned the role as being the top competitor, and now you've got an opportunity going against Lawler. How grateful are you to Strike Force for finally setting up a top-level comp- opponent for you? No, I'm super happy. You know, Strike Force been really good to me. It's, you know, that's why I asked him right away. I told him, you know, because first I wasn't, uh, I wasn't too happy about going to Strike Force because I wanted to be in the UFC fight in the top competition. You know, they told me they were gonna do their best to bring me top fighters, and you know, and so far they they've delivered, bringing me Robbie Lawler for my first fight for him. So, for those who don't know, you come from a very strong training camp, the Caesar Gracie camp, but you've also just started your own gym. Tell us about your training partners and the gym you just started. Yeah, I opened a new gym in Berkeley, so it's, uh, you know, I got a lot of good training partners, a lot of, you know, good wrestlers coming through there, and big guys, and not to mention, I'm still training with, uh, with you know, Nick Diaz and, and Nate and Gil a lot, you know, I go to their gyms, they come by my gym, so it's, I'm still training with a lot of the same people. Well, Robbie Lawler has a pretty devastating stand-up, you're a world-class submission, uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, where do you see this fight winding up? Um, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm willing to fight him anywhere, but at some point I'd like to hit the ground, because I think that's where I definitely hold advantage. I might get him to the ground. I'm thinking of submitting him at some point, you know. I don't mind standing with him for a few, but at some point I want to mind taking him down and uh, tapping him out. Do you think you've been in the cage against someone with the power of Robbie Lawler? And on the other end, do you think that Robbie Lawler's been in the cage with someone with the grappling ability that you have? Um, well, Robbie Lawler fought Nick, who had a great grappling ability. But that was a long time ago, you know, when yeah. Nick was newer, and that was that was an all-stand-up fight. So like, that doesn't really, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that really matters. And, um, if I dealt in with Lawler's power, I don't know. It's, um... I think that's a pretty good power. Probably not quite Robbie's power, you know. I think, you know, Paul Daly's a good power puncher. Fun guys like Saki, who are, you know, big 85-pounders that hit hard. You know, Nakami, but he's still not the same power as Lawler. So, you know, as far as pure power, Lawler will probably be the heaviest. But I don't think I won't build a handle. Instead of having to cut weight, you're moving up a weight class. Tell us about your diet and training regimen. What have you done differently to possibly keep weight on, or did you still have to make a weight cut? No, I'm just, I just ate a lot more. You know, usually I start, uh, I start dieting and get closer to the fight. Now I just kept eating and eating, which is uh, which is kind of nice. You know, I feel strong. I don't have to worry about cutting weight. The water, you know, only I cut a few pounds of water, so it's uh, so it's gonna be nice. Do you think it's gonna affect know. your conditioning at all, or it will be the same? Um, you know, probably. You know, we'll expect it both ways. It's kind of a tricky question because you know, when you go up in weight, it affects your conditioning negatively, and then dropping the wa- not dropping the water will be positive. So <laughs> I think you know, it's, it's hard to say. I think you know, it might be a positive thing not having to drop the water. Not to look past uh, Robbie Lawler, but where do you see yourself uh, in the future in Strike Force? Are you going to go back down to 170 and defend your title, or vacate that and stay at 185? That's you know, that's a tough choice. I'm really just looking to get the uh, the biggest fights right now. I think 170 is my best weight, but I'm willing to fight 85 for the bigger fights, and I think it's tr- Strike Force has a, a better 185 pound roster right now. So really, I'm worried about getting through Lawler and uh, see how that goes. Uh, one of your nemesis, Frank Trigg, he's dropped down to 170. He is in the UFC, though, so do you think that's a possibility now that he's at 170? Well, you know, I was hoping that would be my next fight, but he just signed with the UFC, so I guess uh, <laughs> I guess that, that's off again, you know. We were talking about, you know, even Mitch Ned Coker, he mentioned he's going to try to grab him for me, but uh, I guess you know, he's off in the UFC, so I'm not really sure who to try to grab me next. I mean, obviously, if I win, there's Kung Lee with the belt, but I'm not really sure if he, uh, you know, if he wants to focus on movies or fighting. Well, in MMA, a lot of the uh, top athletes such as, your, such as yourself have the sponsors to thank for being able to compete full-time. Do you have anyone you want to thank? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, Tap Out, Metal Militia, um, Rockstar. Uh, I think there's someone else supposed to be thanking. <laughs> but yeah, and my team as well, you know, thank all them for, uh, for helping me with the training. And if people want to find your new gym, where can they find that at? Um, I have the address, you know, on my website, you know, jakeshields.com, or on MySpace, Jake Shields, you know, it's over in Berkeley, so they can just look at my website. Well, this is Aaron True with Jake Shields making his debut at Strike Force 185 pound division against Robbie Lawler, June 6th. Jake, best of luck to you. All right, thanks a lot.